Indonesia declares the world's largest manta sanctuary, axolotls discovered in the wild, bats, bears, and a whole lot more. This is your weekly two-minute roundup of nature and wildlife news from around the world. Indonesia has declared the world's largest manta ray sanctuary, a whole 6 million square kilometers of it. Historically, Indonesia is one of the world's biggest manta fishing nations, which makes this really good news for the species. On the other hand, lemurs could be extinct very soon, according to scientists who unveiled an urgent three-year plan to save them. 94% of these primate species are in trouble on their native Madagascar, mostly due to habitat loss and bushmeat poaching. On to some good news. Mexican biologists have spotted not just one, but two axolotls in their natural habitat, this may not sound like much, but until now, it was feared that these Mexican walking fish only existed in captivity. The USA is calling for five Arctic nations to place a moratorium on high seas fishing in the Arctic Ocean. The melting of the permanent ice cap has allowed trawlers into these waters for the first time in history, but there is no scientific research yet on how to manage this resource sustainably. From the ocean to tropical rainforests, and technology to help stop deforestation, Forest Watch is a new online monitoring system that makes it possible to quickly check the condition of forests around the globe. It's been developed by various companies, including World Resources Institute and Google Earth. Time for your weekly dose of cute. The Oregon Zoo has their hands full, with orphaned baby animals. These three cougar cubs were rescued after their mother was killed by a hunter, and these baby black bear cubs are thought to have been orphaned when their mother was scared off by logging operations. And if it's even possible to get more adorable, Auckland Zoo in Australia is celebrating their successful breeding and rearing of lesser short-tailed bat twins. These tiny creatures don't even weigh in at half an ounce. And finally, is New York City turning into the bad apple? The city plans to kill, remove, or sterilize its wild swan population, which officials are calling an aggressive, invasive species which are a danger to people and native wildlife populations. If you've got a strong opinion on this, then let us know on Facebook and Twitter. The full story and more is on our website.